So here's my clue to embossing. This is a two-dimensional view of my clue. And if we consider looking at the clue at a different angle using all three dimensions, uh, it comes clearly into focus what I'm trying to say. Okay? Only get to see those two dimensions as you work on the harp. Uh, and there's not a lot of control over the backlight, although you can use an adjustable dimmer switch for your light. That gets complicated. What I like to do <coughs> is use ambient light. I have light bouncing off the uh, white surface here. I have light coming from above that's shining off my reed plate so I can't see what's going on. But if I use my hand to sh as a parasol uh, to, to shade that light, I get a good view of the light that's bouncing off the my work surface. And if I shorten my view as I can do because I'm holding this in free air, I can see uh, I can zoom in on the whole length of the slot. I can concentrate that up uh, in a very short view. That's very, very useful, especially for embossing. And I can use my tool to move the reed. I can see the reed go through the slot. The, the reed is not necessarily going to go through the slot all at the same time, or it's not straight. So looking at it from a two-dimensional view doesn't give me all the information. Whereas if I can hold the reed plate at a, ver at a different angle, uh, at a shortened angle, uh, I can see what's going on. It's very difficult for... Uh, I mean, I've tried to explain this, uh, and just like when you're in a noisy room, your ears are able to filter out a whole bunch of noise and just listen to a song on the radio or your, your daughter's voice speaking over the blaring TV and the barking dog. Because you could pick out, you could sort of filter out. When I've sat down with people and tried to explain this, even though it's right before their eyes, their eyes have trouble filtering out, you know, the light coming from over here. They, they, they have trouble just focusing their attention on this area and seeing what's going on. Your eye needs to uh, sort of adjust to the, that right level of seeing in the dark so that you get this view, even though you can create it just by shaping your hands. That's why I came up with this idea, because it really tells the story. It's a really dramatic uh, um, coming to light uh, uh, sensation when you're holding these lines in front of your face and suddenly when you do this it, everything comes into view uh, everything becomes uh, uh, clear it's the same thing with embossing so here's the view it's a brand new reed plate i just took it out of the package i'm gonna do some embossing and show you how i troubleshoot using this view uh, just before i go i thought i'd just give it a toot Pretty good, pretty good timber, pretty good response, volume. Uh, let's see what embossing does to that. So I've worked on this, I'll give it a toot, same angle, same distance from the cam camera, same breath force. So the tone is brighter, it's definitely louder, and it's definitely more responsive. So let's take a look, I just did the four. So I can see that it's a bit tight in the back and it's a bit there's a bit more room that could be done in the front. And it does sound a bit buzzy. Those high, high pitched uh, overtones, and that could be because I hope you can see this on the camera. Uh, it's very close here at the back. So I'll try to 
adjust, or clean that up in the back and tighten this up in the front. So I've done that. It's even louder, it's even more responsive, it's, it's actually quite powerful, but it's prickly. It's prickly in a different way. Let's take a look at what we see. So I see that it's very tight, uh, but not too tight in the back. Nice, there's some room there to move. And uh, there's a bit of contact at the front. So I'm just going to coax that away. This is just a brass, a piece of smooth brass. still a bit right at this point mm. very smooth no more prickly Very solid, very nice read. Very, uh, it's a warmer tone now, uh, but it's still very loud, very responsive. How come I mean, I'm not used to my camera angle in this in this configuration. Excuse me. Oh, there it is. I'm, I'm rotated the wrong way. So there's that view. You get a, a big picture. It's sort of like using a microscope. You get all the benefits of using a microscope. Uh, but you could see the whole forest. You could see the whole, the whole picture at the same time because you're, you're cut, you're shortening up that view, and you're concentrating it. Uh, uh, you could tell if you're getting hotter or colder uh, by the quality of the reflected light coming through this angle.